I have absolutely no idea how this managed to happen, but we have a couple people visiting the fortress that ended up in the river right away. Like, this is the first place that I even seen these guys. Uh, it looks like there's... Oh, and there's more of them coming in, too. They're all just jumping in, and I think they're drowning. Oh, man. Uh, for some reason, these guys don't seem to be getting out, so I think uh, we've got a couple dying people coming to visit us. Hopefully, that's uh, not going to affect us too badly. We've got Bengal something and uh, Uda, the human bard. Anyways, they're all going to drown, and that's fine. Too bad goblins, like an invader, invasion force, couldn't start out there and just uh, start off in that river and just kill themselves right away. Be amazing, right? But no, uh, we just get the poets and the people that uh, are coming to visit our fortress and maybe even boost our morale up a little bit as that will come by. Uh, but you can see here that we are slowly declining into a tantrum spiral, so there's uh, really no need. Um, we are gathering plants in a desperate attempt to, you know, make sure that we have enough alcohol on stock always. Um, but I, for whatever reason, our brewers are quite lazy. I mean, they're dwarven, right? So we can't really expect a lot out of them. <laughs> they just keep abandoning all those uh, all those job orders that I've been giving them to, to make alcohol. Um, you know, it's probably just a lack of plants, just because I don't like farming for, you know, various reasons. We are going to make a couple more workshops for brewing, because we have enough dwarves, I think, that it warrants a few more stills. And we have this nice, beautiful new area over here. You can see some construction going on over to the left, some big rooms being dug out in hallways. Not entirely sure what I'm going to be doing with all those yet. I just thought, hey, let's get uh, get some dwarves to work and get them get them digging away. So we'll make a couple of stills and just throw them, throw them in over here, and uh, that should be good. We'll get we'll get some uh, alcohol brewing that way. You can also see up top we've made a multicolored floor all over the place. That was just to get rid of this little gross pond out front. I know the puke colored different tiles are probably much worse and uh, harder to look at, but I just. I don't know, it seemed uh, like a little silly, the dwarves walking around the water puddles each time. Well, we can just throw a floor down. Um, we've had a couple tantrum spirals. You can see, like, we still got blocks laying around. Uh, we lost a little bit of progress. There hasn't been a video in a couple days. Uh, actually, because I lost some progress, I uh, have had some issues with uh, uh, graphics cutting out and then uh, losing all progress and the uh, game, game cutting out and having to be reset and then just frustratingly giving up on everything and just uh, leaving it. <laughs> so yeah, it's been a little while since we've had a Door Forges video and I, I apologize for that. Um, definitely working on it and I'm trying to get that sorted out still. And I've made some progress on uh, correcting the issue. Anyways, yeah, so we're, we're right now we're just collecting plants and we're kind of like we're, we've got a good supply of trees going. Uh, we've got a couple idlers so I'm gonna probably just assign them to plant plant picking. And uh, mining because we are gonna need a lot of miners. Actually, hey, what are we mining out of here? Just tetrahydrite. Hmm. So silver and copper. Yeah, this whole place is just you know chalked up with valuable, um, like kind of rare metals and stuff, and that's really kind of cool. But uh, now, especially now that we're able to make uh, bra or bronze, rather, that'll be really nice. I like having the ability to potentially defend what we have before overloading ourselves up with valuables though I am definitely going to keep making everything out of silver regardless silver and gold regardless of the fact if we can or cannot uh, look after it everybody's so miserable this guy's working on gold thrones and he's just miserable money can't buy you happiness apparently so uh, let's set this actually you know what we're going to go up top here for a second let's take a look at our at our smelters and let's do come on where is it Brass, bronze, bronze, right? We want bronze. Uh, let's just use the ore because I don't know how many bars we have made up. And yeah, just and this guy can use use bars just in case there there are any bars laying around. And we'll put this guy on ore too because I don't think we have any very many bars made up, and I'm too lazy to go really check. So we'll just have ore used because I know that we have ore, lots and lots of ore. And then hopefully we have enough charcoal now that we got uh, the wood supply back under control. Back under control, that should be a big help. No more, make, no more making bolts out of wood. 
just uh, takes up way too much wood and these dwarves just chew through the bolts so it's no no good uh, cutting down trees let's gather up any plants up here too because that's gonna you know feed into the alcohol addiction that these dwarves seem to have uh, we've got a couple dwarves here brewing already you know we're gonna probably need barrels I'm not sure how many we have uh, I guess we could make pots but yeah let's just go for barrels craft store shop and what am I doing no that's not what I want I want a carpenter shop do we not have any left oh my god these dwarves kind of went mental and may have smashed up the uh, carpenter shop you know all these oh no here's one looks like there might be two here uh, come on barrel there we go wooden barrels that's not what I want wooden barrels do that endlessly I yeah, know I know still too lazy to uh, set that up properly we'll just have them make wooden barrels endlessly so that we can have somewhere to store that uh, sweet sweet alcohol into not to mention we're gonna need barrels for lots of other things anyways over time if we can survive that long can't believe we still have 14 very happy dwarves over here and 29 you know okay ones it's just the kind of bottom ones that are I mean that's a that's an issue not gonna lie but it, we still have some dwarves that are quite content but we have very many many dwarves that are also very very in, uncontent um, I seen a animal kind of wandering around um, did I not set this up as a pen no I didn't oops and no I did I did maybe I just didn't have it active I I got rid of the pen that used to be over here and moved it because we have this you know this amazing floor project now so I thought I'd move the animals onto somewhere with a little bit of grass so they can get something to eat we've still got our dwarf uh, up top here you know defending the tower top which is good to see uh, seems to be helping a lot with the bird issue with the uh, things flying around so that's uh, that's always good. What kind of petitions do we got here? Uh, got another entertainer wanting to stay? Yeah, we'll definitely take on as many entertainers as we can. Uh, though I guess I should assign them to the inn. So I don't think I've done that yet, have I? So just give me a moment and I'll get that set up. There, we've got quite a few performers set up in the tavern and a couple of uh, bar keeps. Should keep everybody happy, hopefully. Make the entertainment a little bit better. And uh, maybe draw in a bigger crowd a bigger crowd and hopefully get that morale issue up though maybe that's where all our alcohol is going is from having a uh, I mean obviously dwarves drink a lot and they, they do enjoy drinking though maybe we are going through a little bit more alcohol than we may uh, generally just due to having all these visitors coming in to uh to sample our fine dwarven alcohols just look at here we have one like one item of drink listed that's not good you don't want that with dwarves you want lots and lots of alcohol these guys like to drink that's just what they do um, that's just the life of a dwarf just alcoholism it's kind of terrible if you think about it but um, yeah oh man we need more chairs in here that's why nobody's eating in this amazing great throne room look at that gold thrones we got plenty of them made up now we only want the finest of golden thrones in this room. We don't want to sully it with some kind of silver or willow or some kind of crap like that. Gold thrones only. What's this guy saying? This guy's eating in here. Let's see if we can get like a Yelp review out of him or something. Blissful after dining in a legendary dining room. I think legendary is as good as it gets. These guys. And I'm pretty sure I could make legendary out of an old dirt room to be honest. This should drive morale up as long as we can keep food stockpiled like crazy in here. Uh, we should be working on golden goblets too. I think that was something I planned on doing a long time ago um, that was advised on and I just haven't done it as much as I'd meant to. So let's go in here, other objects, let's go gold and let's just make goblets. So we have lots and lots of things for the dwarves to drink out of. We don't want them drinking out of rock. Oh my god, we have another fucking wear animal. This time it's a were panther, so everybody's fucking dead. Uh, the were panther sec talk, the dumb piece of shit. God damn, dude! A large panther twisted into humanoid form. It is crazed for blood and flesh. Its eyes glow orange. Its charcoal hair is short and even. Now you will know why you fear the night. God damn, man! All right, let's take a look at this thing. Oh, good, we've got a lord consort here. Kill the noble. Um. 
Where the hell am I looking at this thing? Where is this exactly? Okay, he's very on the edge of the screen. I was trying to look for my little cursor. You probably all seen right there. So we got Sektok, the War Panther, or the Wear Panther, right there. Uh, that's gonna be really bad because he's got he's got claws, right? He can dig into people. He can do a lot of damage real quick. So take our squad. Let's go with the Cobalt Craters and go on a kill order for that damn thing. I don't think they're gonna get to him before he causes a lot of problems for us. But I don't know what to do, man. Wear Panthers and Wear Animals just fuck. Uh, <laughs> let's have the uh, hopefully the tower guy shoots at him a bit. Maybe he'll take him down for us. No, he's on like a child. He's fighting a dwarven child. Uh, the dwarven child is horrified right now. And we've got uh, a fisher dwarf getting eaten here. The bruised spine. Just kill it. Just kill it off. Come on. I don't want it. I don't want another war wear animal outbreak here. All right. So they kill. Did they kill that thing yet? No, it's almost dead. It's killing the shit out of some stuff though. This guy isn't even hurt. Oh no, his left foot's gone. I was like, hey, this guy, uh, he's got blood on him. It's his own blood, but he's got blood on him, but I didn't see any, uh, you know, big long list of things going on. But no, he's, he's missing his entire foot. No big deal. Just crippled forever. What about this child? Is he dead? Oh god, that child's gonna break into fucking a wear panther now. Third toe broken, smashed open, bruising. Mangled beyond recognition. God damn, man. So, uh, Terrace, the Dwarven Child, we need to kill that thing. I'm not sure how we can get Terrace to go stand in the, uh, the Atom Smasher, though, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to get Terrace into a hospital, I think, and set up some kind of drown order on him. Damn. So let's take a look at our military. Any, any of these guys get really hurt? I hope not. Uh... Looks good. These guys seem, uh... You know, they seem okay. I'm sure they'll be fine. I don't want to lose my, my military. Oh, this guy's got to go. So I've got to make some notes on these guys who we have to quarantine. And uh, try to get them sectioned away somewhere. Alright, so we've made a uh, new military squad. The Guilds of Noiselessness. Uh, Vot of Votok and Neil. Uh, we still have to take care of that dwarven child somehow. I'm not sure uh, how we're going to go about that. But we'll, I'm sure, I, I guess we'll figure it out. It looks like he's checking into the hospital, so we may just have to drown him off in here. I think, oh, do we have a, oh, come on, Vatok, just get, I, I stationed you guys. Come on. Uh, do I have to make them active to force them into that? I don't care if you're hurt, you're going to the hospital. Or going into the incinerator room. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're not. Alright, we gotta start walling this thing off, I feel. Uh, <laughs> that's maybe our best hope. No, I can't do it that way. I was hoping I could kind of cut corners here. So let's uh, wall them in with lead. Actually, what's the closest? Lead? Lead's not that far. Uh, wall them in with lots and lots of lead. Stop them from ever getting out. Ever seen the light of day again? And they can just live in there and we'll watch them as specimens. Somebody should pull this lever though. Uh, so we'll just disband this, I guess. We don't really need this military squad anymore. Uh, so we'll get rid of these guys. Mm, oh, no, not them. These guys. <laughs> Wrong one, almost. That could have been quite bad. Um, yeah, so somebody's just got to hurry up while these guys in. Hopefully nobody else gets stuck in there with them. And then we're uh, maybe wear panther free. Maybe. And then we'll just pump in some water in there at some point. Maybe dump it in from the river on top of them. I'm, I'm not sure. Last time we opened it up, we had a whole big issue out of that. So I kind of feel like maybe we should have just left it closed before. I mean, what's this guy doing? What's this Dwarven child doing here? He's playing over here by the creepy old ex-hospital that's full of bodies and tombstones. That's just what he likes to do, I guess. That's, that's, his, uh, that's just what he likes doing in life. What a big weirdo. Anyways, I uh, I do apologize for the, the screen resolution in this video. Um, I'd only really realized what I was doing about halfway through recording. 
So generally speaking, like I'm gonna, not going to have the screen resolution. We're going to fix this and get it uh, sorted out for the next episode. Um, I just didn't want to re-record everything again. Uh, I've been kind of playing around with a lot of the settings in OBS, my recording software, while I dealt with some of the issues that have been arising. And I, I think that might be kind of why, we, why we're recording in this uh, little bit of an awkward resolution this time. But like I said, any uh, any time in the future, we'll get that all sorted out and dealt with. Oh, look, another petition. Uh, what's this guy want to do? Entertainment? Sure, Urist, you can stay. Urist is like the Steve of dwarves. It's just like a really common dwarven name. But uh, I am going to call it here. What do you guys think of the fortress? Uh, any ideas for these giant rooms over here? I was thinking maybe a swimming pool or something would be kind of cool. Or, um, I'm not really sure, maybe workshops or storage or something. We do have to still get it all smoothed out, and that's going to be a whole whole big project with super fun. <laughs> Lots of hours of entertaining watching these dwarves. Shit, what did I do? What did I do? Oh no, I did the wrong thing. Uh, lots of hours of entertainment of watching me screw everything up that I possibly could there. Um, but yeah, anyways, what do you guys think? Any ideas for these rooms? Just let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much.